In this video, we will talk about Mojo. Mojo is a new programming language for AI developers. Mojo fills the gap between search and production by combining the Python syntax with systems programming. System programming targets performance and efficiency to ensure the efficient operation. Mojo can be described as a superset of Python. Programs written in Python are valid Mojo programs. Mojo allows you to create portable code that runs quicker than C and integrates naturally with the Python ecosystem. Portable code is a code that can be moved from one platform to another. So in simple words, Mojo is a programming language that is as easy to use as Python but with the performance of C++ and Rust. Furthermore, Mojo offers the ability to use the complete Python library ecosystem. Now let's talk about usability. Uh, we can write everything in one language, write Python or scale all the way down to the matter, create programs for all the hardware with low level AI. CUDA or C++ are not necessary. CUDA or Compute Unified Device Architecture is a parallel computing platform and API that allows you to use GPU. GPU is graphical processing units. Now let's talk about features. Uh, progressive types improve efficiency and error checking by using types. Take control of storage by inline allocating values into structures. Ownership plus borrow checker. Take advantage of memory safety without the rough edges. Portable parametric algorithms. Using compile time, meta programming to write hardware independent algorithms and reduce boiler rate. Language integrated auto tuning as well as the full power of MLIR, parallel heterogeneous runtime, fast compile times. If we talk about performance, uh, we can use Mojo compiler and runtime to get most out of our hardware, including multiple cores, vector units, and accelerators. Achieve performance that's equal with C or CUDA without complexity. Parallelization by utilizing MLIR. MLIR is a multi level intermediate representation. Mojo developers are able to utilize hardware units for AI, threads, and vectors. Python is a single threaded execution, while Mojo is a parallel processing across multiple. Course. Mojo is 35,000 faster than Python. In the given comparison, the table shows the execution times in seconds for different programming languages and their corresponding speed up. So speed up means making something go faster compared to how it was before. So if we compare to Python 3.10.9, in this case, the execution time is 1,027 seconds and the speed of factor is 1x. While PyPy, uh, that is a Python library, completed the task in 26.1 seconds, providing a speed up of approximately 22 times compared to Python. Scalar C++ achieved an impressive execution time of 0. 0.2 seconds, resulting in a speed up of around 5000 times compared to Python. Mojo Mojo showcased exceptional performance with an execution time of 0.03 seconds, delivering an incredible speed of about 35,000 times compared to Python. This is a comparison of different programming languages and execution times for a specific algorithm that is called Mandelbrot, running on a particular instance type Amazon Web Services a virtual machine with an Intel processor. Interoperability Now let's talk about interoperability. Access the entire Python ecosystem. Utilize the Python ecosystem to interact easily. With Mojo, we can combine external libraries like NumPy and Matplotlib with our own unique code. Extensibility Upgrade your models. Easily extend your models with pre and post processing operations or replace operations with custom ones. Take advantage of kernel, graph rewrites, shape functions, and more. Model extensibility. Mojo can upgrade the existing operations in your model. Uh, now let's tr try Mojo. Mojo is still in early development for many language features will arrive in the coming month. But it's available on Jupyter based playground. Run through tutorials and write your own Mojo code. For that you need to sign up. Now let's talk about Mojo programming manual. Pre-request is. It assumes knowledge of Python and the systems programming concept. At the moment Mojo is still in progress and the documentation is targeted at developers with systems programming experience. It is not ready for beginners yet. Using the Mojo compiler we can run a Mojo program from a terminal just like Python. So if you have a file named hello.mojo or hello.emoji. Yes, we can use an emoji for a file extension. So I'll say here we have a simple phone here. Basic systems programming extensions. Python is a versatile programming language known for its high level capabilities. While it excels in applications and dynamic APIs, it can also be used for systems programming tasks. Python support for system programming expands its range of applications beyond just high level development. Let and var declaration. In Mojo, we can declare variables using the let or var keyword. Let declarations create immutable variables, which, which means that value of variable cannot be changed once it has been assigned. Or declaration create mutable variable which means the value of the variable can be changed after it has been assigned. Now let's talk about struct types. In programming struct types are used to define custom data structures that group together related data elements. A struct in Mojo similar a Python class, they both support methods, fields, operator, overloading, decorators and meta programming. Their differences are as follow. Python classes are dynamic, Mojo structs are static, the modular playground. You must take a number and wait in queue if you want to learn more about working with Mojo at this time. Through a web based notebook environment that runs on modular server. That runs on Mojo servers, the company provides early access to Mojo. Mojo doesn't currently have a runtime that can be downloaded the plus side. This means that you can use any machine with a web browser to run Mojo. The best way to verify these claims like Mojo is very fast as compared to Python by having Mojo variables locally. But it's worth experimenting with both Python runtime and Mojo 
to compile in the same code side by side to see what happens. Our last section of this video is can Mojo replace Python? The very first public uh, for Mojo made a case for its language for data science and machine learning. Those two subjects make up a big part of Python's modern use case. Not because Python itself is fast, but because it provides a convenient programming interface for fast things that, that are hard to use. Mojo clearly means to provide a fast by default version of that use, where you don't have to search for external libraries to make things fast. What Mojo is not aiming for, for at least uh, this early on, Python's broader set of use cases, web backends, process automation, and so on. That may come later when Mojo is more complete and has a better collection of third party libraries, but it is not clearly the first order of business. If Mojo is faster by default, it, it will be tough to replace Python's presence in machine learning and data science. Python user community, existing culture of software, and convenience all make it a great language. Mojo would have to do more than just fast to replace Python for that work. Still, it's interesting to see how Mojo continue to develop along with its Python compatible and high speed use case. That's it. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and comment below for more videos. Thank you so much.